it's important this after being at city hall for 12 years council member pete festerson says his experience working with others and his deep knowledge of city issues should give his constituents confidence in bringing him back for a fourth term. Having the experience to address these complex issues like affordable housing and mental health and public transit, um, those are things that require partnerships, not just the city. Someone who listens to people and works well with others, that's always been my track record. Festerson touts his work in helping to make Benson, Dundee, and Florence business improvement districts, allowing them to flourish in the last several years. I mean, uh, 10 years ago in Benson, uh, we, were we were really struggling to now where we have a bustling area, one of the coolest places to be in town. Almost every storefront is filled. Uh, it's really exciting to see, and I want to continue that, that success going forward. But he's got competition. I would like to do this full time. This is what I'm, I'm already at City Council most Tuesdays testifying. Omaha Bicycle Company's former owner, Sarah Johnson, who's still an avid biker, is already an active community member and is now challenging Festerson to his left. I think that there's so much work to do, it's hard to even have a priority. It's just like everything needs a fresh set of eyes and new energy. If elected, Johnson wants to dive into updating the housing plan, making sure city code defines terms like affordable housing and sidewalks. And it, while it might not be like a big sweeping sexy initiative, it's a lot of little stuff that's going to add up to shifting the perspective and shifting the priorities and actually working towards change. They both want to expand public transportation, with Festerson pointing to the new Orbit buses as a good start. It's not just any one thing, but the Orbit, I think, was a big step forward, and we're looking at the potential to expand that in different ways. I think it is increasing better bus, bus routes for our citizens. While Johnson wants to be a bit more aggressive, already identifying a street she'd like to see Orbit go to next. But I really think that 24th Street needs to be looked at. North Omaha to South Omaha, it's a great connection, and that's something that I'd really advocate for. Soon, Harney Street from downtown to midtown will have its own protected bike lane. And this is area where both candidates seem to agree, as they want to see more lanes tailored specifically for bicyclists throughout Omaha. It is a pilot project, uh, but I think it's time to make that permanent. I, I'm ready for that commitment, and I'd like to see that expand to other places too. We need to get serious about a safe and connected protected network. It's not about one lane on one road. That's not enough. In Omaha, John Kipper, Free News Now.